everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Mackenzie and this is Sorority Recruitment 101, the only channel dedicated to answering the questions you may have about what it's like to be in a sorority in college and what it's like to go through sorority recruitment at a big university. I've had a lot of people DM me on Instagram saying that they're really nervous about Zoom recruitment and they don't know what to expect. Well, you are not alone. No one knows what's going on, including the active members. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips that way you feel the most confident on camera when going through Zoom recruitment. But before I get into any of that, you guys know the drill. Make sure you subscribe down below and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video. I post new videos every single Monday and Friday, giving you guys tips for sorority recruitment and also to share my experience being in a sorority at the University of Alabama. Also, if you would like to join our sorority recruitment 101 family, make sure you're following us on all of our social media. There you'll get vocab of the week, recruitment tips of the week, and all the content you need to feel the most confident going through sorority recruitment. So if any of that interests you, I'll be sure to link all of our socials in the description box below. So I want to start off by being completely honest with you guys. Everything I say in my videos is completely based on my opinion and my experience being in the Greek system in the United States. I do not speak for any university, particular sorority, or Panhellenic association at any school. Based on everything going on with the coronavirus right now, I feel as though recruitment will be all online this year. A lot of universities have announced that a portion of recruitment will be online, but I think they will all transition to be completely through Zoom. I think this because there are a lot of rising cases throughout the United States and they're not going to put anyone's health or safety at risk. A lot of Panhellenic associations are going to have you guys make an introduction video for yourself. That way the sororities can get to know you before you step foot onto campus. If you want to learn how to stand out in your recruitment video and you also don't really know what you should be talking about, click the link in the card above. It'll take you straight to my video giving you guys some tips on how to make your video the best it can be. Some schools are making introduction videos optional, but I would 100% recommend doing it. It's a great way for chapters to get to know you and to see your personality before recruitment even begins. Once recruitment begins, you'll be speaking to the active members over Zoom. Now this can be a little frustrating and scary just because this has never been done before and no one really knows what's going on. But like I said in the beginning of this video, you are not alone. Everyone is in the same boat as you and we're all figuring out things and learning information as it comes. Don't let these frustrations get to you. Just make sure you're prepared. That way when the time comes, you're ready to go through Zoom recruitment. So I promise you guys tips for Zoom recruitment and that's exactly what I'm going to give to you right now. My first tip for you guys is to be outgoing and confident. You really need to show your personality just because you're going to be in a completely different environment than you would be if you were in the sorority house. Also, make sure you're speaking clearly and you enunciate. This is just because we all know that technology cannot be the most reliable sometimes and you really want to make sure they know exactly what you're saying. You may have to repeat yourself if the connection gets spotty, so try not to get frustrated. Just make sure you're speaking clearly and they know exactly what you're saying. Let me tell you, everyone gets nervous for recruitment and it's totally okay to be nervous. It's a brand new thing that you've never experienced before. The best part about recruitment being over Zoom is that you can practice with your friends. You guys can call each other and just have a conversation and pretend to ask each other questions that the sororities might ask you. And when recruitment comes around, if you start to get nervous, just pretend like you're talking to that friend that you practiced with. My second tip for you guys is to still dress up every single round, even if recruitment ends up being all online. What do I mean by this? Well, some universities have said that you don't have to dress up all week of recruitment or you only have to dress up on certain days. Even if they say this, I still recommend that you dress up every single day. I say this because people tend to be more confident when they had themselves put together. So grab a cute outfit, have your hair and makeup done. That way you feel like you're presenting your best self to the sororities. Going off of that, my third tip is to practice your makeup before recruitment begins. Ladies, we all know our makeup looks different based on the environment we're in. So odds are your makeup will look different on camera over Zoom than it does in the mirror in your dorm. So if you choose to practice conversations with one of your friends, maybe have your makeup done. That way you can see how it'll look on camera. That way you can again present your best self. My next tip for you guys is to find good lighting wherever you're setting yourself up to go through Zoom recruitment. You want the sororities to see all of your beautiful faces and the expressions you give when you're talking to them. If you have a ring light, you can totally use that. It'll be great to give you enough light to show your features. If you don't have a ring light, don't go out and buy one. You don't need it, I promise. If your dorm has a window, set up your recruitment station in front of that. This will give you so much natural light and they'll be able to see all of your beautiful faces. If you don't have a window in your dorm, which I hope you would, but if you don't, you can use the flash on your phone as some extra light. Since most of you will be using your laptops to access Zoom, you can set up your phone against your computer screen or set up against the wall in front of you and turn on your flash. That way, if your room's a little dark, you have some light showing on you. I wouldn't recommend going outside for your Zoom recruitment, especially if you go to your college campus, just because you never know what sounds you're going to hear and the network might be a little bit spotty outside. So definitely just try and find some good lighting inside. 
going off of that one, my next tip for you guys is to make sure your background isn't busy or distracting. You really want the sorority to be focusing on all the awesome things you're talking to them about, so make sure your background is still and quiet. My best advice for you guys is to just set up your station in front of a blank wall. You can also set yourself up in your room kind of like I have here. If you do set up in your dorm room, make sure it's clean, especially where the camera frame is. That way they are focused on you and not the messy room behind you. Going off of those last two, my next tip for you guys is to make sure you're in the middle of the camera frame and you're not too close to the camera or too far away. I recommend standing far enough away where you are shoulder or waist length up. You don't want to be too far because then they won't be able to see you or hear you that well. And you don't want to be too close to the camera because that can be kind of awkward. So I would recommend standing in front of your camera where you're either waist up or shoulders up. I recommend this because you're at the perfect distance for them to be able to hear you speak and also see all of your features and expressions you give when you talk. My last tip for you guys is to have conversation starters ready. You're going to be in a different environment where you can't really base your conversation on what's going on around you. So if you're nervous about that, make sure you have some questions ready that you can ask the active members. You can actually have this list of questions next to you by your computer or even on your computer screen. That way you can reference it if you run out of things to talk about. The active members are more than happy to answer your questions about sorority life and Greek life, and they're so excited to share all the fun facts about their sorority with you. The active members normally do more of the question asking, but it doesn't hurt for you to have some to ask them just in case the conversation hits a little bit of a lull. All right, you guys, so that is my video giving you guys tips just in case recruitment is online for the entire week. I know you guys in the class of 2020 have kind of been given the short end of the stick, but I know Panhellenic is gonna put on an amazing recruitment for you guys. That way you have the best experience possible. My best advice for you guys is to just practice, practice, practice. Practice being on camera, practice your makeup, and practice what you wanna say. That way you feel the most confident and you're ready to go for recruitment. If you guys have any further questions, always feel free to DM me on Instagram or comment them down below, and I would love to help you. As always, you guys, make sure you subscribe down below and comment what you want me to make a video about next. You know I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.